If the goal is to grow the economy, what do we mean, students of the economy, when we talk about the economy? What's our measure? It's GDP. You can't reach out and touch the economy. You can't point to the economy. But when we talk about growing the economy, we're talking about growing our national output, our economic pie, our gross domestic product. And what is our gross domestic product? In words, what is it? It's what? It's the sum total measured in US dollars of all the spending that we do buying newly produced goods and services in our economy. So you can't say that we need to stop spending to grow the economy. This is the oxymoron I refer to, right? The economy is the measure of how much money we spend buying the newly produced output in the economy. The only way to grow the economy is to increase spending. There's no other way to do it. It's not a theory, it's not my opinion. It's how we measure GDP. So if you want growing economy, you have to have rising spending. No two ways about it. So when, when you study economics, and many of uh, those of you in the audience here have done so, Often at the principal's level, you're faced with a picture, this sort of bathtub image. And it's not a bad analogy, it's a little bit imperfect, but I think it does a pretty good job of focusing attention. So if you think of your economy like this bathtub, you say somewhere in the tub is a, is a line. Okay, you can't see it here, but there's a line inside the tub and it's marked potential GDP or full employment. Somewhere in the tub is that line. Now, if the goal is to run the most efficient economy you can, to get the most out of your labor and your capital as possible, to reach your full potential, you want to get that water level right up to the full employment line. Anything below that is just inefficient and wasteful. Anything above that risks inflation risks trying to use too many resources, more than you have capacity for. So the trick to running a healthy economy is really not more complicated than recognizing that you've got a faucet and you've got a drain, and that there are injections, ways to put water in the bathtub, and there are leakages, things that take water out of the bathtub. That bathtub is our GDP, okay? So what are these leakages that take water out of the tub? and move us away from our goal. One is saving. Every dollar that we save and don't spend is a dollar that can't be captured by some business trying to sell its output, can't become part of its sales revenue and ultimately part of its profit. Saving is a leakage, okay? It goes out of the economy. Taxes are a leakage. Every dollar that's taxed away from us by government is a dollar we don't have to spend into the economy. It's a leakage. It takes water out of the tub. And imports, M there, every dollar we spend buying goods and services that are produced somewhere else in the world is a dollar that can't be captured by some domestic producer trying to sell their output, and so it leaks out of the bathtub. Okay, this would be a problem. If all we had were leakages, we'd have a huge problem on our hands, but we don't. We have ways to put water into the bathtub. How do we do that? One way is businesses invest in the economy. When we say in businesses invest, we don't mean share buybacks and that sort of stuff. We mean plant and equipment, software, research and development, businesses investing and adding to our GDP. So that puts water in the tub. Government spends, okay, places orders with Lockheed Martin and Boeing and so on and so forth, Social Security, all of that. So government is spending into the economy, and as government buys newly produced goods and services, so don't count Social Security there, it is putting water into the bathtub. The rest of the world buys some stuff from us, and we export, that's X. So every time someone in some other part of the world buys our stuff, it puts water in our bathtub. So what you have are these two flows, right? You have water coming in, and you got water going out. And the question is, which is bigger? 
Are the leakages bigger than the injections? Because if they are, the water level in the tub is going to go down. Think about it. If you pull the, pull the drain on your bathtub and you set the water to a trickle, what's going to happen? It's going to go right down the drain. Okay? If you put the water in faster than you're taking it out, the water level is going to go up. So the question is, how do we figure out a way to calibrate these flows so the water level hits the full employment mark, not below because we get unemployment, and not above because we risk running inflation. That's the trick. 